You guys, welcome back. The jasmine rice is almost fully cooked and I need something savory to go with it. Today I'll be making bamboo stir fry with shrimp paste called Namai Patkapi. This dish is so rich in umami flavor and it's a nice balance of savory and sour. We'll need some garlic and you don't need to chop them up as finely as me because they'll be smashed in the mortar soon. And a bunch of cilantro for a bite of freshness and a pop of green. We'll be adding this in a later step. The star of this dish is baby bamboo shoots. These come in a light brine, it's sealed in a small packet. You can buy them canned or fresh, that'll work too. If you use fresh bamboo, they may need to be boiled in fresh water two times to remove natural bitterness. Canned ones or ones that come in a brine already most likely have already gone through that process and they taste just as great. I'm using pork shoulder meat here. It has a nice ratio of fat and lean meat and does well in stir fries. It pairs so well with bamboo. The sound of the mortar and pestle transports me to my childhood. It's the sound of the elders preparing something that I know will be flavorful and delicious. Are there sounds that you hear that immediately remind you of your childhood? This garlic chili paste does not need to be fine. Roughly pounded is all we need. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, place them in a sandwich bag and whack it a couple of times to make it look like this. This method releases more oils from the garlic and chilies this way than simply cutting them does. In the end, you'll have a more aromatic dish. Give it a try. The natural oils of the garlic and chilies have collected at the bottom here and they will not go to waste. With a bit of water, we can gather all of this residual flavor here, which will also be added to the stir fry. Occasionally, I like to stir-fry the meat separately just a bit 
and add it back into the stir fry near the end to fully cook it off. I find it helps to prevent meat from overcooking in the process. Now the other star of this dish, we have shrimp paste. It does smell funky, but it adds so much depth of complex umami flavor to this dish that it just would not be complete without it. Now don't let the funky smell of shrimp paste scare you away because it's completely amazing in here. As you continue to cook the shrimp paste, its aroma will mellow out a bit, but I do recommend cooking in a well-ventilated area, and if you can, have your windows open. For me, I love the smell of shrimp paste mixed with garlic and chilies. It's the highest reminder of how satisfyingly robust the flavors will be. Now we do not want the dish to be sweet, but we do want a degree of sweetness to balance the shrimp paste and fish sauce that is present here. You are the pilot here, navigating through cooking a dish. Steer the flavors in the direction that suits your preference. If you want it more sweet, for example, adjust it. Recipes are not one fit all, and it's okay to make it your own. The lime juice brightens up the whole dish and makes this dish addicting.
Here we have it. n a o m a i p a t k a p i is so delicious with rice. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps out so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe, everyone.